owner, New Mexico head coach Steve Alford. The Lobos picked to win the Mountain West Conference. Remember, BYU is out. They go off to the WCC. UNLV has a new coach in Dave Rice, but they're on the heels of the Lobos as well. And New Mexico has the player of the year in the preseason, and Drew Gordon, the transfer from UCLA. And Steve, what has Drew done to sort of transform his body and his mind to become a leader and a potential player of the year in the Mountain West Conference? Well, I think he's always been a gifted athlete, and he's done a very good job with just getting stronger and using that athleticism. I think it's the latter part that you mentioned, and that's his mind. And, and being a transfer is not easy. Being a mid-semester transfer, I think, is even more difficult. So I, I think what we're excited about and what Drew's excited about is he's been here now for well over a year, and now he gets to start things fresh and knowing from day one, game one, practice one, uh, he's going to have a full season under his belt. You do lose Tyrese Gary, who was uh, your leading point guard the last couple of seasons. But Kendall Williams sort of came on the scene a little bit out of nowhere for people nationally. How much can he sort of assume that leadership role from the backcourt this season? Well, we're going to need that leadership. We've got three really good seniors. Um, but I, Kendall is one of those guys that uh, can lead by verbal. He's a, he does a very good job of being outspoken. He's got the respect of everybody by the way he plays. He plays at a very high level. A uh, very gifted individual, uh, something he can't teach. He's probably got his, probably in my 20 plus years of coaching now, the fastest player I've ever coached. So hopefully we can use that kind of speed to our advantage. A year ago, BYU and San Diego State flirted with top five, top ten. They had two lottery picks in Kawhi Leonard and Jimmer Fredette. What are the chances that New Mexico and UNLV can duplicate that this season? Well, I think Coach Rice uh, and I, would, we'd take that right now if, that was, if we could get both of those things. But uh, you know, it, each season has its different challenges and, and different things that you go against. But uh, we just hope here over the coming months we can continue to improve and get better and stay healthy. It's like anything, you know, BYU stayed pretty healthy for the most part. San Diego State stayed really healthy um, because they weren't extremely deep and, and they had special years. And it was great for our league. And uh, hopefully whether it's you be ourselves or somebody it's a surprise that our league can continue to play at a high level. Thanks, Steve. Good luck. I appreciate it. Thanks. All right, so they're having a 22-win season for the Lobos last season, though they missed the NCAA tournament, where their league was well represented. That didn't necessarily help them. Three starters back. The best player might be reserved, Drew Gordon, who averaged a double-double after he was ineligible the first nine games of last season. So dive into the Lobos quickly again. I want to go back just for a moment. Clarify the Kansas news. Uh, Jamari Tech trailer, Ben McLemore cannot play the whole season because of academics, cannot practice until after the fall semester. Anyway, we move on now uh, to the Lobos. This is one of the favorites. Again, we talk about non-Big Six conferences. Their name keeps being mentioned. How come? Drew Gordon. Uh, you know, he, he was set to be a star at UCLA but had trouble buying into Ben Howland's system. They had a very vaunted uh, recruiting class, but whether it was because they played too much half-court basketball, because his skill wasn't at the level of the then Pac-10, he, tr he struggled to fit in with what Ben Howland wanted. And he really struggled early on, and that's normal for a transfer when you get eligible at semester. But late in the year, he's, he showed his athleticism in transition, showed an increased ability to hit a jump shot, and now he's a face-up four at this level in which he's just a dominant physical specimen. Well, they average a double-double in terms of points and rebounds. Had a fantastic year, as Doug mentioned. They also have Kendall Williams. Uh, at the guard position. This is a guy, he's an outstanding defensive player, 6'3 guard that can run the offense, and he can just flat out shoot the basketball. And you also have A.J. Arderman in the front court, Alex Kirk, and then they've got a transfer from Arizona State, Demetrius Williams. He's 6'2", uh, but he plays like a big guy, really strong, putting the ball on the floor, taking it to the rim. At 6'2", he even likes to post up, put him in the lineup in the backcourt with Kendall Williams. But this is a New Mexico team that's going to surprise a lot of people in the Mountain West Conference and also around the country. Yeah, the, the big question with Demetrius is, you know, does he have a position? Yeah. And, and you know, and, and can Get buckets. You know, and like, <laughs> he, and he's, yeah. he was the one featured in the book, Play Their Hearts Out. Very good book that, that talks about a, the AU scene in Southern California, Northern California as well, and his long, long story of recruitment. This conference, the Mountain West, it's, it's getting a reputation, a good reputation. New Mexico's been good. UNLV's been good. San Diego State, been very good. 
BYU no longer in the Mountain West, though, but how deep is this league when you look at it? Well, I, I think there's two teams that you would expect to see in the NCAA tournament. Dave Rice comes over. Now, he played at UNLV. He was Dave Rose, BYU head coach. Dave Rose's longtime right-hand guy and assistant. So now he's come back to his alma mater to take over for Lon Kruger, who, of course, now is at Oklahoma. Everybody confused? We, we got it? No, I know Lon's okay, at Oklahoma. Good. Okay, Wait. so... <laughs> Dave, Dave Rice, I think, is going to let him get up and down, yeah. and that really benefits, you know, a guy like Anthony Marshall, who's yep. a fantastic athlete, not great in half court. They have Chase Stanbeck back. They get uh, Mike Mosier, who's a UCLA transfer, six foot eight, player of the year in Oregon. When he came out of high school, another UCLA transfer. We're talking about coming into this league. I, I think those two teams, solidly teams that you could bet on to be in the NCAA tournament. I, I think you nailed it on on UNLV. I, I think they're going to be great defensively. I mean, they've got really terrific size, athleticism. On the offensive end, and Doug talked about it, is the key is to run. This team struggles in the half court getting a consistent shot. They have to get the rebound, get out into the fast break. They have